Jacob's wife went to knock another man. And that was what got to their separation. During the period that Juno Pope by him and his wife not they together again. The reason why Juno Pope by that the wife contributed that Juno Pope by because when you cheat on your husband and the place Juno Pope is from, Unsuka, you cannot marry a man from Unsuka and you go one day, Una, another man. Um, my son, Juno Pope, with a gift to the entire world, not just to Nigerians. A splendid life was cut short the way we never expected. Yes, we shall all go someday, but certainly not in this manner. I want to make a general appeal. Let us pray to the Almighty God to accept the soul of Junior Pope and cut out all the nonsense we've been putting out in the social media. Let us allow this young man's soul to rest. I am making an appeal as a father. Please. And also I want to see this opportunity to thank all those who have volunteered to ensure that his children would not suffer. Particularly Imani, who has promised that he's going to train all those boys to whatever level they want to get to. What else can I say? I want to say that you Nigerians are very good people, but you may not know it. You're very understanding, very charitable. Hi. <clears throat> Hello everyone, my name still remains Ima Ehumadu, aka La Bista. Uh, Y'all all know that we're still in the mourning period. We're mourning our dear friend, a colleague, a brother, um, a father, a son that we lost recently in a boat mishap, you know, Junior Pope. Okay, so while we're still in the state of mourning, um, I found it very necessary to make this video to at least call on our consciousness. You know, because what happened to Junior Pope was a carelessness of him not wearing a life jacket as he embarked on, on, a, on a trip in the water via a boat. And then there was an accident, you know, two collided and then he got drowned in the water as a result of not wearing a life jacket probably if he had a life jacket on maybe he would have been rescued now i'm calling on the attention of nigerians especially the youth of today because me as a role model some of you see me as a role model it is our duty to send out informations that will be useful to some of you guys so i find it very necessary to call on your attentions listen when we talk about accidents there are so many things that a lot of people do today that could result to an accident that they may not survive it. I'll give you an example. Some of you are bike riders. How many bike riders wear crash helmets and safety jackets? Long time ago, I was a power bike rider. For those of you that know me way back, can attest to that. Um, sometimes I go, I ride my bike with slippers on. And then until this very fearful day, I had an accident and then the whole of my feet bruised. I almost lost my leg. If not for one nurse that took care of me and made sure that the injuries healed because she was a professional nurse that knew exactly what to do. Those days when we had a lot of cadres flying about in Nigeria's on Nigerian streets. So many people lost their legs because of an Okada accident. So many Okada riders died. So many passengers died. Some had broken legs, some had lost their legs because of accidents of not wearing safety crash helmets and safety gadgets to protect yourself. That is just one. So many drivers, they are being begged to wear seat belts when you're driving. These seat belts, we're not praying for accidents, but when it happens, this can save your life. It can save your life. So many construction workers, workers, they go to sites 
without crash without their construction helmets these things are built to protect you to protect you in the case of accidents we have seen situations where buildings collapse with construction uh, um, workers in it and some of them actually survive because they have their helmets on these helmets are built they are strong some of them there was a day i watched a car went you know drove over a helmet the original one didn't spoil but the fake one spoiled so in other words there are so many things that we do over the years there are so many things in so many job hazards during the pandemic the pandemic era the government practically begged a lot of people to wear a face mask it was for our own good but some people found it very unnecessary to wear the soil like it was it was hiding their beauty or their hands in Nigeria that we do not take precautionary measures. In your car, do you have the fire extinguisher? Do you have the seat caution? Do you have all these things? Some of you drivers, your seat belts do not work. Some of you just throw it across you because if, uh, if you see your safety, you escape. But see, then the seat belts don't work. Please let us begin to take caution let us begin to look at these things and let's take precautionary measures against these things because um, this is the call accident it happens in a minute you don't see it coming it just happens in a minute and the person is gone please let us prevent further damages on our lives it's not only in nollywood that's everybody's calling nollywood today because of the you know series of deaths that has happened to some of our colleagues it's not only in Nollywood, with my brothers there are deaths everywhere doctors nurses lawyers and um, telecommunication workers everywhere but Nollywood, everybody talk about Nollywood just because of the fact that we are popular we're famous we're known please let us henceforth please if you're driving through a traffic light and it shows you red please stop if it shows you green please go a whole lot of times everywhere in nigeria people don't obey traffic lights but the day you will crash it will come just like that in a minute you will see it coming you will just slam your service then you start to regret please let us obey these rules if we obey them everybody will be safe i've been to lots of places across the world and i see there are some places in america you don't see any traffic light there but everybody knows that once you get to that junction you stop is the t-junction the first person to get there is the first person to move others will wait they all know everybody have sense but here in nigeria even when the traffic light is showing you red you go see people go put it they drive like say their life depends on it please let us begin to change let us begin to learn the things that will help our lives to prolong longer please thank you very much this is just what i thought i should share with you guys god bless you all peace